approximately 2 million Negroes, African Americans, black people, occupy the city of New York. This story is about three of them, and they are the Burdens. There is Stanley, and that's his wife, Monica, and over there with the soccer ball is their son, Jeremy. Stanley's had another long, hard, frustrating day at work. Being the only black executive at his firm has taken its toll and Stanley, damn near on the verge of a mental breakdown, is ready for a change. Stanley, what are you doing? It's been a while since Sheik's been around, and Stanley knows good and well not to let him through the front door, or any other door for that matter. You want a lot of it or a little bit? Cheek, really? A lot of it. Is this really gonna do what you say it does? You'll see.
for the fourth straight day this week, Monica has gone to bed all alone. And thus far, she's managed to resist any sudden moments of weakness by tucking herself in earlier than usual. Meanwhile, Stanley has been relegated to couch duties. Look at him. An 80s sitcom stereotype. How sad. Daddy, I didn't know you take pills. That's because I don't, son. The one was that I saw you pop into your mouth a few minutes ago. Ow! Fuck. Mm -mm. Watch your mouth. Apparently, you were mistaken, son. Your father doesn't have any pills. Now go and get ready for school. Finish your breakfast, Jeremy. No, I think he's had enough. What kind of message are we sending him by not finishing what he started? Stanley? It's not what you think. I thought we were through with this. We weren't through with anything. I was the one with the problem. And again, it's not what you think. So you think this only affects you? Like I previously stated, it is not what you think. What is it, Stanley? I need it for work. Which I'm now late for. Exactly 12 minutes late, Stanley. Car trouble. Anyway, now that Stanley's finally alive. Perfect timing, Stanley. Please, have a seat.
Jay was wrong. Tired? No. Wait, you crying, man? No. Jay, lift your head up. Look at me. What happened? I told you I didn't want to go to that school. All I said was all lives matter. Next thing you know, he'll be kneeling at assembly tomorrow. Follow me. Put it under your pillow tonight. Before you come to breakfast, take one. You know what? You'll see. Open the door. Put it away quick. Open it. Yo, Jeremy, what are you doing here, dude? It's assembly time. Oh, are you meditating? That's a Muslim thing, right? Ah, oh, cutting class. I'm down. Oh, about yesterday, we're all good. I'm not upset. Look, I know you're one of the good ones. Speaking of which, see that b-ball game last night? LeBron for three! <laughs> Man, that dude is crazy. Yo, assembly's boring. I was hoping I could come in here, sit down, hang out with you instead. Yeah, assembly's so boring today. Mr. Kravitz is on another one of his rants about gum. Like, with all the things we can worry about at school on a daily basis, we're talking about gum, <laughs> especially after that math test. Sorry, Mom. I didn't see any leftovers in the fridge, so I just... It's okay. Finish up. So, tell me about your day. You want to know about my day? Mm-hmm. Good. Anything unusual? Huh? What are you so nervous about? I think I'm gonna go to my room. Jeremy, sit down. Now tell mama what's really going on. A black female jogger was accused of purposely stepping on her neighbor's dog's tail today. When confronted by the neighbor, the jogger yanked out her ponytail extension, waved it up in the air and screamed, see, White women wear weaves too. You gave our son drugs? Drugs? 
No, I wouldn't call it that. Oh, you wouldn't. He's telling me that he's hearing smooth jazz and R&B for eight hours. He heard jazz? Shit, all I heard was R&B. Stanley, you must tell me what you gave our son. He's already saying that he's never going back to that school without it again. Hey, look, it's just a pill, all right? Oh. Actually, baby, it's, it's the pill. It shelters you from racism for eight hours. I don't believe you. Oh, that's not like that shit I was on before. Okay? How I was could you to... not share it's this not with It's not like it's me. ecstasy or opioids or anything Do you like know that? the kind of bullshit that I got to deal with every day up at that culinary school? Monica, you made a pumpkin pie? <laughs> Is it as rich and full of sugar like that sweet potato pie you made last month? I want one. Babe, hold on now. Are you sure? Yes, nigga. Close the door. Oh, why? We all know about it now. Can I just have my moment? I'm setting my scene. Fine. Thank you. All right, put it under your pillow tonight. Before you come to breakfast, take one. And then what? You'll see. Your hair, oh my God, what happened? No, no. don't tell me, I know. Single moms have it rough. I mean, raising a child by yourself and going to school? I mean, how would you even have time to think about doing your hair? Your hair, oh my God, it's fabulous. <laughs> I mean, you always come up with these phenomenal styles, while I, on the other hand, am just relegated to these dusty blonde streaks. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually a brunette. <laughs> if you need your day to yourself, just let me take the kids. I can take them out and you can have a new day. If you want to the salon or Are there any side effects to this? What do you mean? Side effects? You know, like constipation, diarrhea, joint pain. Oh, nah, no. Nah. 
I mean, consider it just another form of Tylenol. It's just a pill. Wait, where did you get him from? I... Sheik. I got it from Sheik. You still speak to him? After what happened the last time? Look, it's a completely different scenario. It works. All right, it's gotten me through my days, gotten you through yours, Jeremy's. How about we just put the past behind us for a little bit and enjoy this discovery? No. Sleep in here tonight. Ugh. What do you want, Stanley? All oh, right, I summoned you. Sit down. You look like the type of guy that would know a thing or two about dancing. Tell me, where's a spot I can meet some fly honeys? Dancing isn't necessarily my forte, Mr. Turk. During my leisure, I prefer the smooth, soft melodies of some jazz. Come on. You don't dance? At all? Come on. If I beat you, tell me where the honeys are. Sorry, sir. But I'm going to have to decline. You think you're stronger than me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the triceps and the biceps. You're all natural. Bet it's all genetics, though. I, on the other hand, no matter how much I pump that iron. Yeah, fuck it. My wife left me. Just got up and walked out on me. For the past few weeks, I've been reluctant to go home. Everything there reminds me of her. She decorated the entire house. If I could just uh, meet someone to uh, to take the edge off. How's your wife doing? So good. My, oh my, do I love me some chocolate. <laughs> uh, Derek, Ronnie, Julius, Yahio. I do, but nobody good. Single, <laughs> emotionally available men? <laughs> no, I do not. The only man I'm in contact with consistently is my husband. Oh. 
Oh, so you are married. Well, what about him? Any friends? Yo, Jeremy, hold on a sec. So, um, who's your weak guy? What, you don't, you don't trust me? I'm not no snitch, okay? I can keep a secret. I know the code of the streets. My second cousin went to jail for a DUI. Unfortunately, Bart, I don't know anyone who could provide you with such a thing. What about your cousin in the sixth grade? He goes to school here. Terrence? Yeah, yeah, Terrence, Terrence. We're not related. Huh. No worries. I'll ask him myself. Stanley, the guys were telling me about your presentation. Sorry I missed it. However, I do have some concerns with it. Do you have a few minutes to talk? Sure thing, Mr. Ted. I'd be glad to sit down and talk with you. The first thing I'd like to address are the numbers. I think your math might be a little off. How'd you go about getting them? Well, sir, I calculated them using the data from the research department. Hmm. Anyone ever tell you you look like Jaleel White? No, they have not. Well, not exactly. Because you also look like Ice Cube, but taller. Which reminds me, I'm going out tonight. I need a wingman. What do you say? Down? <laughs> Come on. Drinks on me. Hey, all night. I'm more of a wine drinker myself, sir. Really? Strange. I could swear Hennessy was your drink of choice in our last holiday party. Oh, you know, ice cube does really Yo, Jeremy, wait up. Fresh sneaks, dude. Are they real, though? I don't know. It's like every other week you're coming in here with a new pair of shoes. How are you pulling this off? Bet your mom works her ass off, working two, three jobs. Wish my mom cared that much about my gear. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain, though. We do live in a nice house. Two cars, a dog. I haven't seen my dad in a while, though. Well, you know how that goes. Hey! <laughs> Celebrate with me. Can you teach me how to make ham hocks and collard greens? I have a southern boy coming over. He's from South Carolina, and I just want to impress him. I mean, I googled it, but I thought I'd come to someone who actually knows what they're doing. Ham hocks? 
I regret to inform you that's not my forte at all. I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. Wow. Yeah. I'm learning more and more about you each and every day. See? We have a lot more in common than I thought we did. Yeah. I bet you didn't know that I love A Tribe Called Quest, Das EFX, Della Soul, The Far Side. Oh. And Chance the Rapper. <laughs> what type of rap music do you listen to? Rap music? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Hip hop? Right. Yeah. Uh. Hey, hey, baby, say, say, baby, what your name is? She looked at me like, is you playing with your game is? To shoot my shot and hit your spot is what the aim is. And look, this pistol that I'm cocking here is stainless. I'm just a nigga on the come up, trying to come up on the mill. Cop a piece of land and smoke a blunt up on the hill. Stacking people on the ground like it's tubbing on the bill. Tell the crew to sit the town and go and stunt in something trill. Right, right. I mean, I'm just trying to live like, like, let's catch a flight and just a fight. Let the dice roll, who oh, you like that? Listen, I'm gonna tell the maestro, play the right track. Think you can catch a move, catch a groove, maybe we can catch a vibe in the room. And now, for the first time in a very long time, Stanley has decided to stay home for the weekend with his family. But even more surprisingly, with Jeremy. I thought we were gonna play football. We are. I was referring to real football. This is real football. That's American football. No, this is the only football that matters, man. Man, I'm not touching that thing. Well, I don't know how to kick a soccer ball, Jay. Why we just toss it back and forth? I paid $35 for this thing, man. What am I supposed to do with it now? I don't know, toss it? Let me see that thing. How much does a soccer player make? On average, a lot less than a football, American football, and basketball player makes. How much is that? A little less than six figures. That ain't too bad. Is that what you really want to do with your life? I don't know. How about a jazz musician? Is that what you really want to do, or are you just saying that because you think it sounds cool? I don't know. Well, whatever it is that you do, just make sure you love it, all right? Do you love what you do? Sometimes. Do you get paid a lot of money for it? Depends. What do you think is a lot of money? Uh, I don't know. A million dollars? <laughs> yeah. Then no. You okay with that? It appears so. <laughs> Why, thank you for granting us with your presence on a Saturday, Your Highness. It's rather noble of you. Well, I don't feel safe anywhere else. Not anymore. How long do you think you can keep this going? Hopefully forever. I wouldn't want us to handle life the way before this. Not ever again. What if we had no other choice? We'll always have a choice. Yeah, I promise you that. Jeremy and I are going grocery shopping tomorrow. We're going to need the pills before we go in the morning. Oh, we're already running low. Do you have to waste them on a trip to the supermarket? Do I really need to answer that? No, them shit ain't cheap, all right? I'm already dipping into the stash. And then dip some more. And I saw Ray. I make good money. You're overworked and underpaid.
Let's go around back. Oh, so I can't come in? Mo still mad, huh? All right, no one's home, man. It's just me. All right, let's make it quick. I need a lot more than last time, all right? I'm afraid I can't do that, Pilgrim. What do you mean? We spoke about this over the phone. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd deliver the bad news in person. Plus, my cable's off, so I couldn't watch my cartoons this morning. Need a little bit of fresh air. What do you got? Three pills? And what happened to the briefcase in the container? Oh, those were hers. I just took whatever was left. Dude, I need more pills than this, man. I got you, Stanley. You'll be all right. Stanley, you're more powerful than you think. I'll be at Mom's. I'll call you when the new batch arrives. We're not getting any more pills for a while, so we're going to make do what we got. So you weren't able to get any more today? Not much. Well, how much is that? Including what I had originally, about a week's worth. I ain't going back to school at all. Oh, oh, by the way that your grades have been declining recently, you're right. Baby, you did something to your hair? No. Why? Never mind. You know what, what you should be asking, or at least trying to figure out, is how are we going to get through this once them pills run out? I don't want to go to school tomorrow. We're not out of pills just yet. There's enough for tomorrow. And it'll be Friday. You're going. And then after that? I'll figure something out.
You sure about this? Yeah. You've never done it before while on the pill. Apparently, a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel was the cause for a disturbance earlier this morning at a local deli in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. A Caucasian man refused to leave until he received one. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Make my cinnamon toasted raisin bagel with bacon and eggs and cream cheese right now. What are you looking at me for? Right fucking now! Are you putting it out? You think it's a fucking joke? Make my bagel! Fuck! Make it! Make my fucking bagel! Now, he's wanted for assault after a meltdown over a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. For most of the day, Stanley's been isolated, diligently crunching numbers, providing proof of his value to the company. Until. He got a little thirsty and noticed something. Or, okay. No. No. <laughs> he goes, no, no. no. You have to choose. No, that's the, that. the point of would you rather. Yeah, that's that's that. The second option is going to be better. Or do that. a funnel with, no. with Justice Cabinet. I mean, I probably choose Squee because that's like, I mean, first of all, I want to meet someone named Squee. <laughs> that's, uh, that is the correct answer. Just so you can say you, 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 you I guess to meet screen. someone named Squee. You have to. You gotta. No, you already said you weren't gonna do it, so you're disqualified. How long have you been working here, Stanley? About what? Four, five years. I remember when you started. You were quiet, resourceful, enthusiastic. During that time. The partners and I gathered to discuss who we were going to keep on past the summer. I immediately brought up your name. I vouched for you. I commended you for always being on time, interjecting with new, creative, adventurous ideas. Some of the partners, they nodded in agreement. But some others... You were my hire. And I'm very proud of that. So, like all things in life, timing is everything. And right now is just not the right time to consider giving you a raise. You understand, don't you? How about we arm wrestle? I must the tuna salad I had last night. I don't think the waiter liked me very much. Yeah, maybe he poisoned me. No, I've been in and out of the restroom all frickin' day, and I am so over those napkins in there. Yeah, the ugly brown ones. Yeah, right? Like, why can't we have the regular soft white tissue? No, no, don't hang up. I wanted to tell you about my date the other night. What did you mean by that? Really? Why now? Because I'm in the mood. Now. What did I mean by what? Those ugly brown ones. I don't understand. I'm... Therein lies the problem.
Good afternoon, class. As you already know, today is our creative writing exhibition, and we already have a volunteer to go first. Please welcome to the front of the classroom, Jeremy Burden. The title of this is called, What Do You Want From Me? What do you want from me? A smile, a kiss, a glare stare at these Negro's lips. What do you want from me? A dance, a swoon, an embrace of hug from your favorite coon? What do you want from me? Day in and day out, I keep my mouth shut, hoping you trip and bust your shit on the way out. Stop asking me stupid questions because none of it is your business. Yes, I live with both my parents and I don't know where the weed is. And yet you continue to imply that everything about me is a lie. But today might be my last day here. Cause I'm gonna black in your left eye. Did you get kicked off of this? Mm-hmm. What else? I'm on probation at school. For what? Words that were said. What did she say to you? She wasn't really talking to me per se. I overheard her and, and interjected. Interjected and said what? It's not important. And why are you home so early? Hmm? I, uh, I beat Mr. Turk in an arm wrestling match. And he sent you home for that? Yeah, well, I might have broken his hand, too. Do you still have a job? I don't know. Oh, well, why didn't the pills work this time? I'm not sure. And those were our last ones. Did you reach out to Sheik? My phone is off right now. But if you need me, I can be reached when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Just don't FaceTime me. My mom's is nosy. Oh, and Cheryl, fuck you. Yo, Sheik, it's Stan. Call me back ASAP. Typical. Look, I think I have a plan, though. Do you have another plan? Dinner. Uh, hey, listen, I figure we order out tonight. No, I mean all of us together. Of course. I mean, I'm upset at what Jeremy did too, but I don't want to starve. No! Now. I mean a home-cooked meal. Oh. Me, you, Jeremy, Meredith, Bart, and Mr. Turk. In my house? Yes, in our house. Okay, without the pills? It's our best option. Well, who told you that? The house is going to fix things, huh? You're suspended. I might be out of a job. Jeremy's expelled. Look, this has to happen tonight. What if they're not available? Turk is lonely. Meredith is desperate and Bart loves video games. We'll entice them. Good afternoon, Mr. Turk. How's your arm doing? Hey. <sighs> I hope this reaches you in good spirits. I've had some time to reflect on the events of early today and... I'm making ham hocks. <sighs> no. If you can make it, please swing by. The address is... 666 Cracker Street. The address is 718 MLK Drive between Rogers and Graham Avenue. At 6 p.m. You don't have to call back, just text to confirm. Bye. She's down. He'll be here. Bart's not gonna be coming. Even better. He was spending it at the grandma's.
Okay. Um, you're missing a few ingredients, aren't you? Yes, and it's strategic to appease our guests. You joking, right? No, no, I'm not. Hey, <laughs> Meredith, meet Stanley. Stanley, this is Meredith. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Follow me. You have a lovely home, I mean, a beautiful family. I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> Stanley began to doubt his master plan. Perhaps he'd overplayed his hand, literally. Little did he know, Mr. Turks always had a thing for soul food. <laughs> Stanley. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't the two of you have a son? We do. He's away with family. Mm. Wow. Amazing there's only one. You're married, right? Yeah, for now. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you two separated? Yes and no. She left, but now she's back. She moved upstairs and I've uh, commandeered the basement. <laughs> but yes, we are separated. Mm -hmm. Are more like you? Excuse me? Women like you. Are you asking me if I have any friends? Sure. Why are you getting a divorce? I'd like to know that myself. It can't be that hard to figure out. You have all the answers, don't you? Maybe. How about I start with a few questions? Okay. Is your wife Caucasian? She's uh, ethnic. <laughs> Can you be more specific? She's not black, if that's what you're asking. Everybody's black. I'm sorry? Let's just agree that she's non-white, yes? Good. Now, do you wear cologne? What for? I use soap and water when I shower. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you use a wash rag or an exfoliating scrub? What about shaving or trimming? You know, like your arms, legs, back. Every so often, once, uh, twice a year. <laughs> what about your wardrobe? Like, I know you wear a suit to work every day, but what about on your off days? Off days, uh, I don't really care. Um, I'm in old jeans and jogging shoes. What's the point of all these questions? Uh, do you believe that that's the reason for her leaving? <laughs> There's um, paper towels under the sink. Thank you. Sorry about no, that. No, I'm just glad you even washed your hands. Excuse me? It's all good. No, it doesn't sound like it. And what does it sound like? Well, it sounds like you have something or some things to say. 
I do. Well then, fire away. No, I don't want to offend you. Oh, it's adorable that you think you can. All right. <laughs> I'll start with the question. Have you ever dated a family member? I have not. Okay, what about... No, how about we just ask the questions we'd like to ask and answer when we're finished? Fine. Do you watch any other sports besides basketball? Why do you sit bare ass in a public toilet seat? Have you ever voted outside the Democratic Party? Why do you let the dog kiss you in the mouth? Why do you exclude Eminem from your top 10 favorite MCs? Why do you walk outside barefoot in the concrete? Why do you buy the same pair of Jordans over and over and over again? Why do you wear the same pair of New Balance sneakers for several years straight? Why must you insist that all your homeboys who committed heinous crimes in your community be freed? Why do you insist on bringing potato salad to the barbecue? Why does your skin get ashy whenever you get out of water? What's your obsession with tanning and burning yourself at the beach? Why do you think the entire world's conspiring against you? Why does it take a full on blizzard for you to wear a coat, a hat, scarves, gloves in the winter? Why did it really take a six hour dog for you to finally stop supporting R. Kelly? Why can't your body process the beat of a drum in a song? Why don't you admit that you find white women attractive? Because I don't. Wait, but I'm You are now. And then there was this one time that she came home with this gift perfume and body wash. You know, the good kind you get from Bath and Body Works. She claims that a student gave it to her. When was the last time an eighth grader gave their teacher anything other than an apple? <clears throat> you know, how about we join them? I must say, these greens are delicious. Mm. Seasoned just right. <laughs> so, tell us, Monica, mm. how'd you snatch him up? <laughs> what was her name again? Carol from Iowa, right? Yeah, that was it. So, Carol and Stanley were dating when you met. No, not quite. Well, either you were or you weren't. We were. Mm -hmm. I believed you. <laughs> <sighs> so it was my sophomore year in college and he was a senior. I believe it was an art history class. Oh, what school? Fisk University. Oh, where's that? <laughs> Nashville. It's an HBCU. Yeah. <laughs> a historically black college or university. You mean there's more than three or four of those? There's over a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking with us, right? Fascinating, because uh, all of our other applicants and employees, they either come from uh, Howard or Hampton or, uh, or Morehouse. Uh, or Spellman. Who? An all-girls HBCU <laughs> in Atlanta. Fascinating. You can continue. <clears throat> so, Stanley would walk by my class every morning, enticing her to leave with him and do God knows what. <laughs> <laughs> Until apparently one day he came by and she wasn't there and I was sitting in her usual seat. When the class was over, as I was exiting, he was still standing there waiting for her. So I felt sorry for you. Uh, Meredith, you're from Delaware. You went to school there, right, Mr. Turk? Stanley, are you from Chicago as well? Oh, no, I'm from Brooklyn. The old Brooklyn, not this new shit. <laughs> well, change is a good thing, right? What goes up must come down. But those who've traditionally been down rarely ever come up. Oh, that's not true, is it? I mean, look at you. You're tall, handsome, physically fit, financially stable. I just prefer those who are up understand why Mookie threw a trash can through the window. 
it's the Mookies of the world that we have to look out for. Anything can happen. Uh -huh. Mr. Turk, would you care for some pie? Sure. Oh, and uh, call me by my first name, Aaron. You mean A. A. Ron? No, I mean Aaron. How about we just stick to Mr. Turk then? Here. Just so I like him. Brown and beautiful. Now be careful now. That beautiful brownness is rich and full of potent ingredients. Trust me. I can handle it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Stanley, would you uh, like to show Mr. Turk the rest of the house? <laughs> I'd rather stay and finish this. Upon Stanley's abrupt exit, he checked his phone and noticed a voice message from Sheik. Howdy, Pilgrim. The cavalry has arrived. I'm out front. I've been calling you for hours. My bad, my bad. Shit's been crazy these past few days. All right, all right, well, I need some more ASAP, man. And the last batch, they didn't work. Any idea why? Say word. Word. You guys are having a party or something in there? So how much? How much for what? Dude, aren't you here to sell me pills? I ain't got no more. Then what the fuck are you doing here, Sheik? I need a place to stay, only for tonight. Nigga, are you crazy? I got white folk in there, man. Hell no, no, no. The pill ain't gonna change anything. What? The pill, it doesn't work. It never did. Come again? It's all a gimmick. There's nothing in them. No, 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 no. I heard music, okay? I was able to function among them without stress. They worked. You ever hear of the placebo effect? No. It's a false treatment with no known medicinal effects, but it can sometimes have real life responses. And I guess you were one of them. Why would you do that? I needed the money. And now I need a place to stay, Stanley, just for tonight. No, it shouldn't be. Uh, Mr. Turk, Meredith, this is Sheik. Pleasure to meet you all. Sorry I wasn't able to attend dinner. Stanley, can I have a word with you, please? Why is that Negro in my house? Just give me a chance I could explain. Do you have the pills? No. But there's a caveat. The placebo effect. The what? The, the way he explained it is that we just uh, put our minds to it and we could visualize and just, if, even if it's not real, we can make it reality. We don't need him. Are you fucking dumb? Those pills work. He's playing you again. It's almost as though I'm under attack. Make sure you don't say this. Make sure you don't say that. Don't offend this group. Don't offend that group. Oh, I couldn't agree more. It's like this guilt that feels forced upon. I mean, why am I being victimized because of how I was born? I had no control over who my parents were or where I was born. It sounds like you two can use some mind stimulants to assist you in your encounters with the other side, so to speak, which, quite frankly, I have a tough time tolerating myself, despite our similarities. Would you like a pill that can numb your experiences when you're surrounded by African Americans? No. no. <laughs> Got 
anything else? Yeah, like uh, something that'll keep a woman from leaving. Ooh, or vice versa. <laughs> First one's on the house. How much? That's four weeks worth. That's a big number. Sheik, may we have a moment with you? Pardon moi. What's up, Mom? Is it true? Yeah, it's true. Which part? Both. So you expect us to believe that all we gotta do is believe that the pills work and everything else will fall into place? Why is that so hard to believe? Because it is! You're a carn artist, man. Or maybe I'm telling the truth. Do you hear that? Uh-huh. Perhaps we should leave. I'll take a month's worth. I'll try a week's worth. I won't take cash. I use Emma. And I use Cash App? That should work. Business with you. Yes, it is. Yeah, do you have any business cards or something? Sorry, I don't. Do I still have a job or what? I'll see you on Monday. Girlfriends fight, right? <laughs> yeah. No hard feelings? Don't you have to lock the door behind us or something? It's a slam lock. What was what? The pills, nigga. Perception is reality. Poignant words coming from a drug dealer. I'm an urban scientist. Yo. Didn't you say you needed a place to crash tonight? I did. No, I don't. Thanks to your special guest's charitable donations, wife is going to let me back in the house. This is just a game to you, ain't it? Games are meant to be played, Stanley. Someone loses, someone wins. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, Indian, purple, green, or yellow. No one cares as long as you win. And it will always be that way. Five minus four, my friend. Well. Jeremy, tell Nana to send you back home tonight. You're being enrolled into a local public school in the neighborhood.
You're not going back to that cooking school. What? Jeremy, you're not going to public school. And I ain't going back to work with Mr. Turk. We're going to find a new town. We're going to set up shop. What? Okay, whoa. What about our clothes, our shoes, our house? What about our house? Look, I got a platinum card in my pocket waiting to burn. And fuck that house. <sighs> We're not going to be able to pay it off anyway. Baby, you've been a great chef long before you started that school. Think about it. Now you've been hired to cook at baby showers, weddings, funerals, wakes, New Year's parties, Christmas parties, birthday parties, cookouts. <laughs> What's stopping you from doing that anywhere else? Nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. all. Right? I can see it now. You have your own restaurant, your own bakery. Call it Momo's. Or Mo's Spices. <laughs> Marvelous Monica's. And it'll be all yours, ours, ownership. Isn't that what we always wanted? Mm -hmm. Okay. My guy. My man. You ain't gotta worry about no more smart Alec liberal white dudes trying to be down because you're gonna be homeschooled from here on out. <laughs> All right? You're gonna get the best training in the world. You'll still be able to play soccer. You graduate with magnum cum laude honors. And you'll go pro right after high school. And after dominating the league for 10 years, You'll create your own league, the Negro Soccer League. And after that, all that money, you'll start a jazz career. I mean, what are you going to do? Hmm? Me? I'm going to do what I should have did a long time ago. I work for myself. My own company. I'm going to purchase a few acres, build it up from the ground up, literally. We'll keep all the dollars within the community. Have our own produce, barter with others, no currency. And eventually we'll let our loved ones know that we're okay. We'll, you know, we'll invite them later on for a huge feast. <laughs> and if they want to stay, they're more than welcome to, as long as they abide by the rules of the land. Does a place like that even exist? No, no, there is. There isn't. Hand me my phone. Call Mr. Turk. Let me know I'll be late. Ugh, I, I suggest y'all do the same.